As soon as I get home from dropping our girls off, I start another cup of coffee. Already turned on the kitchen light, turn on the entryway light, and then turn on the classroom light. This is where she hangs her stuff. Are you ready? What do we do first? Pledge. The pledges. Okay. Can you put your hand over your heart? Yeah. Did okay. That pledge. Now what pledge do we do next? The Texas flag. Very good. Ready? Put your hand on your heart. So after pledges, what do we do now? Calendar. Calendar. Okay. Oops, I forgot to take these out. Okay, remember, I'm going to stick these right here. At the very top of the calendar. What's always at the very top of the calendar? Uh, no. That's the month. That's the month. So do the months go up at the very top? Yes. Yes. And what month are we in? November. Very good. Then what are these underneath the month? Today. Very good. Oh, actually, today is not the 17th. You know why? Because we're used to you skipping a day, but you came today. Turn the card back. This, sorry, we've messed this up because usually she comes on Fridays. So when we did this, we did the 15th yesterday and we said tomorrow will be the 16th. So this is today. It's the 16th and we go up and it is Thursday. Very good. Bring it back down. And then we're going to put our little sticks in. Okay. We'll do the green one first. It says today. It says today is. Good job. Get it in there. I know it's kind of tough. It's okay. So today is. There you go. We'll do our red, which says Yesterday was. was very good. Yesterday was my birthday, right? And then our yellow for tomorrow will be. Do you want to turn it over so you can see it's what? It's going to be the 17th. It is going to be the 17th. And then after we do that, she's going to come write the date on the board. She did so good writing the date. Now we're going to move over to how many days we've been at school. And we'll do the digit, the straws, and then we'll, these are base 10 blocks right now. We're in units. Then we will count forward to the number we've been at school, and then we'll count backwards. We're going to get ready to move into phonics, but I always ask her, these same questions about the alphabet. Callie, how many letters are in the alphabet? Very good. What number did you write? 62. You read it backwards. 26. 26. Very good. Okay, Callie, other question. What letters, what do we call the letters that have the orange underneath them? Vowels. Very good. And all the other letters are? Constant. Very good. Okay, let's get ready to do our alphabet song. So we have two different alphabet songs, and she wants to do, we call this one the little one, and I like this because it had, I cut it in strips. And while I get the song pulled up, she's going to put the strips in order. Very good, Callie. Very good. Very good. And how do you know this one's always the last one? Because it's easy. Very good. And how do you know this one's always the first one? Because it's an A. Very good. This is the song I use from Jack Hartman. Learning sounds A After we sing the alphabet song, we're going to do some mm. phonemic awareness activities that are really quick. And this is actually the first day we're moving into syllables. The past few days, we were counting words in a sentence. And then after our phonemic awareness, let's move to our phonics cards and review the ones. Okay. Over here. Come over here. Okay. You're going to point to it. Remember, we say the letter, the sound, then the picture. What letter is this? M. Mm, a mouse. Very good. What letter is this? Ah. Uh, no, what letter is it? 
a a pool. No, it's not pool. Okay, here, let's try it again. What letter is this? A a Say the word. Apple. Very good. Okay, what letter is this? Perfect. What letter is this? No, tell me the name. Turtle. Very good. I liked how you did your t. And the letter we did yesterday, what letter is this? N. Okay, I need to see teeth when you make this sound. N. N. And what's our picture? Next. Good job. Then after this, we're going to do our new card. So after the card, we practiced writing a capital P and a lowercase p. Then she practiced reading her heart words. Now we're gonna get ready to do a quick sort. Excellent. Okay, now over here. Perfect, drop. Good job, Callie. And put a line, very good. So when we look at our pictures, when we hear the p sound, it goes here. If it doesn't, it goes here. Yeah. Okay, get our baggie of pictures. I think it's behind. Oh. Or actually, it's right here. Let's look at them. I need the pictures out. I keep everything labeled, too, so that way I know what lesson it goes with. For after our sort, we do blending phonemes, which is just t -ap tap After blending phonemes, we're going to do our book. And I like this program because it has... A little book for each letter. Trace your capital P. Do you want to do it in pencil or marker? Pencil. Another thing, when I taught first grade, I had purchased a lot of these witch's fingers. They're just a fun little pointer as they read. Okay, open up your book. Let's show how you read. Okay. P, P, P. Penguin. Awesome, and I loved how you made that sound. P, 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 P. Excellent. One more. P, 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 Pumpkin. Awesome. Okay, now after she did the P book, now we're going to do the paper. So what they practice writing the capital P, the lowercase p, and then practice writing them together, circling the sounds that start with P. And now she's going to, you're going to do the sounds and put your finger under the dot. Mm, uh, mm, no, uh, nope, how do you make that sound? I need to see your teeth. Good job. And then down here, we're going to blend. Then I like this because it has a sentence. We circle the capital letters and the punctuation mark. And now she's going to read it. I am. What's am? What's this word? Am. 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 What's her name? Am. There's a p. Am. Pam. 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 Oh. Say Pam. Pam. Okay, now listen to me. Watch me. I am Pam. Oh, I am Pam. Very good. Our next part, and sometimes I do this out of order and stuff just to get her moving around. We're going to practice reading with fluency. And I always use this, I do, we do, you do. So I do, I am Pam, we do. Let's do it together. I, I am Pam. Pam, you do. I am Pam. Very good. Okay, the next we're going to do dictation. And this is probably one of my favorites. I want you to write the letter that, and we're going to do lowercase letters. Okay, Callie, write the letter that spells Write the letter that spells n. Write the letter that spells t.
Now let's erase it. Wait, write it the correct way, okay? Okay. Write the letter that spells T. Good. Write the letter that spells S. Now what letter spells S? No, that's an I. What letter spells S? Look at our phonics cards. What letter spells S? What letter is it? What letter is that? S. Very good. Write the letter that spells A. Ah. Good job. Okay, we're going to scoot right here and we're going to make a word. Write the letter that spells mm. ah. T. So let's look. Mat. Mat. Very good. good. We talk about the sounds. So in C, there's only two sounds, S, E. This is making its normal sound so it doesn't get a heart. These two letters are making the E sound. And with her, um, we are used E says X. So that's why there's a big heart under these because they don't make the typical sound. Then we're going to do our heart word paper. Then something fun, we will do a color song, and then I do different activities to go with it. So we did the color red song. Now we're gonna do the color green song. Yes. I, I like these. G, R, E, E, e N. Because it'll help green. them learn to spell the colors. R, E, E, N. So now we're going to move into math, and one of the big teaks for kinders is to be able to count forward and backwards to, yes, to at least 20, but right now we are working on counting forward to 10 and backwards we're to going. 10. We've been working on subitizing, and that's just her recognizing a number quickly without counting, and we're going to work on 6 Ow. through 10. Are you okay? Yeah. So let's turn them over. Okay, do you remember what we call these lines right here? Do you remember what these lines are called? Tally marks. Say tally marks. Now we're going to do a math song. Then we've been doing all about a number paper. We don't do it all because she's actually really good at making her numbers. We just do some of them. And we practice writing on the marker board. Do you do four's name? Yep. Okay. These two bottom parts I really like. Okay, you need to draw four circles in the tin frame. We're doing four, so I want you to put four on the number, put it in the window. Okay, what number comes before four? What number would be behind this window? Hang on, what number? Five. That comes after four. What number do we say when we count right before four? One, two, two three. Open it up and see if it's there. Oh, it's kind of hard because I didn't eliminate it. Is it? Yes. So make a Five. three. Hang on. Make a three in this circle. Five. Make a three. Okay. Then I like to do a little like station activity thing. We will not answer all of these. Yesterday we did one more using this. Today we're going to do one less. Then after math is snack time. Oh, and I forgot to mention during snack time, I'll do a read aloud with an actual book. So that way we can go over cover page. She can learn and see how to turn pages. 
We also always go over what the who the author is, what their job is, and the illustrator. After snack, we go into science and we're doing the five senses. So I had her put those ear things on so she couldn't hear. What is it? Good job. And what did you use to figure it out? Good. But and after science, we do social studies, and we're talking about Thanksgiving, being thankful, and showing gratitude.